tour around today's lab simulation. So this is a FET lab. And when you first open it up, it's going to look something like this. Um, the main thing that you're going to need to adjust in this lab is the mass of the object, which you can do in these boxes down below for mass one and mass two. You can either slide the scale up and down to get the number, or you can click on the arrows. It does not really let you like click and type like I wish it would. Um, but that's how you change the mass of both objects. And then the other thing you need to do is move the objects different distances apart. So you just click on the circle and drag it. So for instance, in part one, it wants you to put them four meters apart. So put them at zero and then at four, and that makes it four meters apart. But technically you could slide it over here and put it at eight and then put this one at four. And that also works as well because they're technically four meters apart. So as long as the distance it says, that's all that matters. Um, you don't need to mess with anything down here. Keep it in decimal notation for typing in your answers so that it grades correctly. Um, and then what you're going to type in and some of the questions involve you typing in a number answer in a chart and the number you want to type in is this up here. So yes, do include the decimal and all of these zeros in front. You want the full number. You do not need to include the, the Newton in your answer, just the number value. Okay. So I hope that helps clear up any confusion you might've had. Um, of course, if you've got any questions, you know, to reach out to me.